Senate don't tell federal government, say, make them ban travel for countries where get serious case of COVID-19, aka coronavirus. Federal government don't ban government officials, say, make them not travel to Obodoyibo, sake of corona problem. ASU and federal government don't reach Kajak proposal on top strike where they go on now. And they don't close down NYSE camps across Nigeria because of fear we consign coronavirus. My country people, now good afternoon this afternoon and thank you so you join us for us to take happen for today. My name is Na Douglas and for the first story, Nigeria don't place 13 countries for travel ban on top global COVID-19 epidemic. Secretary to Government for the Federation, Boss Mustafa, now he this one today inside Abuja. According by him, countries where the travel ban affect now UK, China, Italy, South Korea, Switzerland, and United States. Others now, Japan, Norway, Netherlands, France, Iran, Spain, and Germany. The ban will go last for four weeks, go begin from March 21. Federal government also don't suspend visa on arrival policy. And still on COVID-19, federal government say they go find other means to protect Nigerian people from economic and body matter wahala, especially as they concern COVID-19. When they announce this one for one statement on Tuesday, presidential media aide Femi Adeshina talks that the idea they come from President Buhari for one sharp, sharp meeting with Presidential Economic Advisory Council. He promised that he will sustain work for areas like agriculture, education, and healthcare. When they are their own, person where they head Presidential Economic Advisory Council, Professor Doin Salami, they imagine what if it happened to Nigeria economy if COVID-19 problem lasts for too long. He said the economy go grow slow, slow. Crude oil go de jabarata, and they no go see people go buy them. Business no go balance, where they, they, they call trade imbalance, and foreign reserve go drop, and people where they find employment go even swell past ACB, where they call unemployment. The committee say, what did Nigeria need now? Now how now to work hard to, to jump and pass, especially for this uh, water where they boil inside fridge. Equally, I say, make them cross-check 2020 budget, and make them also channel their spending for healthcare, rearrange their spending on top infrastructure or project, will remain small, make it complete. Make them also reduce recurrent spending, meaning spend the way they happen every time. And make them gather private sector to join hand improve health sector, infrastructure, and to boost government revenue money and many other things where are not going to talk finish. And for the next one, federal government or federal minister of health don't confirm say Nigeria don't record new case of coronavirus inside the country. For one statement on Tuesday when Minister of Health or Sage or Ehanire issue, he said the new case, they different from the Italian man inside Nigeria will be the index case. He said this new case, now one Nigerian woman with they around 30 years for age, will just return from United Kingdom for March 13, 2020. He adds, say, since the woman returned from Obodo Ibo, she been carrying herself go keep inside house, within Oibo they call self-isolation. But what did they do her somehow when she later contact Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, for March 16, 2020, as a suspect, she say, every sign of coronavirus don't they show for her body? The minister talks, say, the woman, where they not give her name, don't they receive treatment inside Mainland Hospital for Yaba, Lagos? And latest GSO who just they receive talks, say, federal government don't order, say, make them sharply close down National Youth Service Corps NYC orientation camp where they go on now across Nigeria, all because of fear of coronavirus. The 2020 Batch A Stream, stream 1 NYC members show face for camp for March 10, and they expect them to leave camp after three weeks. But Minister of Youth and Sports Development, Sunday Dare, on Wednesday talks say, then go release NYC members to go serve for their different area of primary assignment. He sent a message for Twitter handle say, then close NYC orientation camp sake of coronavirus would they spread anyhow like Hamatan fire. Some core members confirm say then tell them to pack their kaya for, for Tuesday evening. Some of them even talk say they don't give them their deployment later for early Wednesday morning. And for the next story, federal government don't ban all government officials say make the no travel go abroad as the world continues to wage war against COVID-19 disease. 
Secret to the government for the Federation, Boss Mustafa, now declared this one on Tuesday after first meeting with presidential tax force team on top COVID-19 do. He begged Nigerians who they come in from outside the country, say, make them go hide themselves inside house for 14 days to make sure, say, they no be danger to the con to country people. Meanwhile, federal government on Tuesday been formed one special tax force to take charge of national response strategy and management on top of COVID-19. First away, they head them, now boss Mustafa and Dr. Sani Aliu, now be the national coordinator. Some of the work with the tax force go do, now to give Kajad information to public people, plus including find lasting solution we will stop coronavirus. Our Wazobia Max TV correspondent, John Emmanuel, there for SGF office, and as he brings us latest update on top of this meeting. Yes, John, good afternoon. Yes. Good afternoon. How are you day? Fine, I do fine, we have us. Yes, How you just, day? Yeah, fine. We just hear say federal government don't ban government officials from traveling uh, to Obodo Ibo. Uh, what will be the update for this meeting? And uh, you go feel confirm, ma'am? Yes, uh, as we they talk now, we did for even the, the Ministry of Health. Uh, this morning, uh, the LGA, the uh, Secretary, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, see, confirmed this uh, information, say, it didn't necessarily say, as other countries of this world, only take some very, very significant step towards how to carry check this coronavirus disease when it spread like wildfire, it would make sense because our federal government to begin to take steps because now, as we they talk now, Five new cases now they just confirm now, and this one we say the person they confirm this one are the minister of health himself. And these five new cases where they talk about now, part of waiting, even ginger the federal government to take that decision yesterday, say they will stop uh, some uh, ban some countries from coming into Nigeria. And these countries, of course, even include countries like US and uh, and the UK. And it did because this thing, because some people would like to wonder, say, what could they make? Uh, countries like U.S. could be among countries where we say uh, federal government they take this kind of decision against. Now, because uh, these new five cases where they just record now, three of the cases come from U.S. That is to say, the people who try to carry this new coronavirus uh, virus called Nigeria, now from the U.S., three of them come. And the two other people now from U.K. Now, uh, the minister just finishing briefing now, and he talks, say, federal government don't put some obvious steps where we say we we'll make sure, say, everything they catch for the country and they advise Nigerians to make them be very careful with the kind of information what they receive especially for uh, you get people they go around now we say that they spread fake news they make people they, they panic so maybe they know they panic because say, they don't put some cardiac uh, steps on ground to make sure say this thing you know spread as it is spread before and that is the reason why that is today's step what they take that decision what they take say they go back some countries from entering now to make sure say the virus no pass as a day for this country now. Douglas? Okay, okay John, you go feel confirm say federal government don't uh, ban don't ban this visa on arrival policy. You go feel confirm, ma'am? Yes, yes, that one follow for among the things to them ban. You know, say before now, before now, you, uh, you get this uh, policy over the operate, where the government they operate, where we say any people, uh, all the people where they travel come to this country, especially foreigners, especially investors, as they arrive in the country, they give them visa on arrival. And one of those is not to encourage these investors to so come. Now, this coronavirus thing, I don't make everybody don't the TI, they understand, say, we could put our health first before business. So that visa on arrival to follow for among the things where we say country, uh, visitors with the country's country, they're not going to enjoy them again. And as a matter of fact, nobody know when they will lift all this ban. Okay, thank you, John, for that uh, Kajad update on top of uh, the uh, go ban where federal government give uh, to government officials to make them not travel, go Obodo Yibo. And still on Corona matter, Senate don't tell federal government say, Make them at least ban people who will not be Nigerians who they travel enter Nigeria from countries where get high case of coronavirus. Senate joint might agree for this one. For one point of order, we then raise for Tuesday plenary, we'll be saying as Senator Ibrahim Oloregbe bring come. Senator Oloregbe talks say to add to the ban and other prevention and control plan, make Nigeria no allow passengers from countries where get worst case of coronavirus to enter the country, we will help make the disease no spread. But that, that People should not travel to countries where uh, we have highest risk. And these countries, now the epicenter is in Europe. Many countries in Europe are already affected. They are and including some countries in the Middle East, like Iran and so on. And it is spread even in African countries now. It means except it is absolutely important 
Nigerians should be advised not to travel from this country. As we go along, our government will also have to consider uh, preventing citizens, because what we've had so far are imported cases. We may have to consider disallowing non-Nigerians who are citizens of countries we are, we are with the IRS to enter our country. But in addition, sir, without doing that, our government, federal government, will need to increase capacity to screen people that are coming in because we are, our borders are still open. And for a reaction, Senate President Ahmed Lawan agreed with the senator and even asked, say, make them even channel their attention to isolation and testing centers. He talks, say, it will make sense for federal government to put more ginger, more especially for testing centers, even as he raised alarm, say the entire north and southeast no get testing centers. Uh, when you have uh, this kind of situation, you need to take very immediate action to, to test and, and confirm or, or whatever it is. So I believe that the federal government is supposed to, to do that. We as an assembly, we are prepared to support the federal government if the request is for money, for resources. We are going to support it uh, for, for those testing centers to be provided in the southeast and in the northern part. And even those that have been established, uh, we want to suggest that we continue to upgrade the standard, that we don't allow anything to temper with standard requirement for those testing centers to be uh, very functional. Uh, the second issue is for isolation centers that state governments are building. Many of our states, in fact, almost every state has established one isolating, isolation center or the other. I think the federal government, the federal minister of uh, health particularly, should come up with a standard. That standard should be replicated in all the states. Don't forget, say, before they announce the third case of coronavirus, federal government talks, say, you know that they are planned to place travel ban for countries where get serious case, where get to do with the virus. Make we come out for corona matter, enter Abule Ado. Senate don't tell federal government, plus including National Assembly members, say make them donate some of 2 billion naira to Abule Ado Emergency Relief Fund inside Lagos State. The upper chamber also directs their committees on top petroleum downstream, gas resources, and petroleum upstream to touch light waiting cause the explosion with intention make that kind of badness ha no happen again and make them submit their assignment for two weeks' time. This is not part of what they agree on after they adopt one motion why they need to touch light explosion will happen for Abula Ado, Lagos State, and person will move the motion as Senator Adiola Solomon. For the motion, the lawmaker talks say the explosion killed 23 people. Senator Solomon also remembers say this one will not be the first time where the explosion they happen for that same area. Make we hear him. Worry that Nigeria living around the axis or going about their legitimate endeavor now lives in justif justifiable fears of not losing their lives or those of loved ones from this frequent explosion, fire disaster, but also their properties and investments. Commend officers and men of NEMA, LASEMA, Lagos State, and, Lagos State and Federal Fire Services, Nigerian Navy, Air Force, and other security agencies, NNPC, and ordinary Nigerians on their prompt role in putting out this inferno resulting from the explosion and mitigating the spread as well as rescuing victims. Specially commend Governor Babajide Sonwolu, the governor of Lagos State, for his leadership quality at this time of this crisis and commend the Lagos State Government for their prompt response to this national disaster, particularly the setting up of an Abule Ado Emergency Relief Fund worth 2 billion naira for the victim with an initial takeoff of 250 million naira and employ the federal government to do the same. As we are to support the motion, sake of that painful national tragedy, talk like this. Uh, just like Senator James' manager said, uh, it was an accident, one too many. This thing happened, some similar thing happened sometimes in October or so. We took resolutions here and we had very far reaching resolutions. I've asked for our resolutions uh, on the Comcom -com exploration and uh, in rivers and in Jegu in Lagos. And we had about 17 
uh, recommendations, resolutions that we sent to the office of the SGF uh, on the 13th of November 2019. I want to advise the executive side of government that when we take resolutions like this, we take them with all seriousness and they mean a lot to us and they mean a lot to Nigerians. When accidents of this nature happened, all of us on both sides of government must come together to ensure that we address the, the issues so that they don't happen. Now it has happened again, maybe in every uh, larger uh, situation. And it's not good for us to be talking about the same thing. Last, last, Senate can do one minute silent to honor innocent Nigerians who will lose their lives for that explosion. And for the next story, Association of Resident Doctors, FCT ARD, don't begin indefinite strike where we say they don't know when they go come back to work. Sake of say, Obonga government never paid them their entitlements and other salaries so that they owe them. The FCT ARD announced say, the strike begin this morning. Sake of say, FCT administration don't fail to honor agreement where they get with the association to settle the quarry. When the young Witori people, president, of, president for the association, uh, Dr. Roland Aigbovo, talk say all their members now then agree say may them go strike after their emergency general meeting on Monday. And then talk say the strike will continue if FCTA no give them every, every way they demand for. Continue. Let me also inform us that other unions in the FCTA are also gearing up for an industrial action probably in the next 48 hours if these demands which are seen are not met. The FCTA management has laid the blame squarely on the Integrated Personnel and Payroll Information System IPPIS at the Office of the Akata General of the Federation. The IPPIS platform we came to be since 2007. We are expected that by now all these TT problems should have been resolved. Should have been resolved by now, but it seems to us that there is a a calculated attempt at depriving us our actual wage. A meeting between uh, the FCTA management and all the leaders of the associations and union in the head secretary are held about two weeks ago, and they promised that uh, the payment will be made on or before 13th of March, but only February salary of 2020, February 2020 was paid. The association, the demand say make FCT administration pay their members balance skipping areas. Payment for first 28 days where Honorable FC, Minister of FCT be done approved. Payment of 2016, 2017 and 2018 promotion areas. They also demand improvement for security situation inside hospital and make them provide and maintain equipment and infrastructure for inside their hospitals. We tend to pay more attention to those policies that will favor management rather than the ones that will favor the members of the, employ the employees. For instance, the first 28 days is our entitlement. Up to now, even though the minister has approved it, it's still not been paid. We've had a series of communication correspondences with them, informing them and reminding them of these allowances. But as we speak, it's still an issue. The same thing with the promotion areas. Members that were promoted from 2016, 2017, and now 2018, the areas have not been paid. And to matter where consigned politics, and now to Zamfara State. Supreme Court on, on Tuesday don't reserve judgment for one matter where all progressive Congress, APC, bring come to review their judgment where can cancel their party victory for the general election where happened for 2019 inside Zamfara State. One five-man panel for the highest court will be saying that Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Tanko Mohamed Lead, talk say they go inform every party where the matter consigned for date when they go do this judgment. CGN announced this one after all the party to the matter finished their submission on top of the application on Tuesday. Senator Kabiru Marafa led camp inside his uh, state, talk say, made the no review the May 24, 2019 judgment. APC lawyer Chief Robert Clark on Tuesday tell court say, made them grant and client's application to set aside the consequential order where talk say, made them swear in candidates with the next highest vote. It tells Supreme Court to order APC to arrange fresh primaries. But the Mararafa faction lawyer, will be Chief Mike Ozekome, tell Apex Court to dismiss the application and award punishment against people where the lawyer or the, the lawyer of people will bring the matter to court. So make them punish them with uh, plenty of money on top of the matter. And for the next one, 
President Muhammadu Buhari don't express satisfaction, meaning say Belede Sweetan, with development agenda where Bayasa State Governor Doye Diri line up. The president, vo uh, the president voice in mind when he be meet with Governor Diri inside presidential villa Abuja after they do one private meeting. Governor Diri tells state house correspondent say, Buhari don't promise say in administration go support the state, sake of say, Bayelsa are they critical when it comes to security and peace for Niger Delta. He received me as one of his sons as a state governor, and the reception was very warm. And uh, he went ahead to advise that he was happy that I came, and I was happy with the way I have started. And in fact, he went on to say he has read about all the statements that I have made and the security so far in Bielsa, and that he promised that as one of his sons, as a state like Bielsa that is critical to the security and peace in the Niger Delta, he was prepared to also work with me. The level be say, now the first visit to Bayelsa State Governor will pay President Muhammadu Buhari since he entered office for 14th February 2020. And for the next one, Nigerian Army Guards Brigade on Tuesday don't do their first quarter, quarter inter-unit map reading competition. The reason why they do the competition now makes soldier people understand how then they read map and how then they thoroughly use global positioning system, system equipment where everybody knows as GPS. And this one, they happen for sake of improvement for technology. When in the year and after the competition, Deputy Director Intelligence inside Defense Intelligence Agency, Brigadier General Adekunle Onilenla, talks say, to understand map, the very important part, especially during tactical movement and maneuver. He adds, say, only few people for Army Sabi use GPS will make them call for the uh, training, the training competition. And he say, it will help build the sabiness of soldier people for that area. Permit me to state that adequate knowledge of map reading is vital, especially during tactical movements and maneuvers. Therefore, importance of map reading cannot be overemphasized. Although compasses are the primary navigation tools used in the Nigerian Army, advancement in technology has provided alternative navigation tools. One of such is the introduction of Global Positioning System, GPS, which is being used in the Nigerian army now. An event of this nature will no doubt enhance the proficiency of the, of the participants and make them more responsive in the discharge of their duties. I am therefore delighted that the Gas Brigade is making effort to enhance proficiency of our personnel through efficient training and practice. I am also convinced that in the aim of this exercise has been achieved. On this note, I want to congratulate the Gas Brigade as well as participants and urge all to continue to upgrade themselves through training and other useful means. When they call the result, 177 Gas Battalion now then take first position and 176 Gas Battalion takes second just as 102 Gas Battalion take third. No be small thing, as Gas Brigade Garrison and 7 Gas Battalion take fourth and fifth position for the competition. My people, make we not forget say when they watch as it take happen on top was Zobia Max TV. We they come back with business and sports news. <music> And inside business news, Academic Staff Union of Universities, who everybody knows as ASU, talks say they don't reach Kajat proposal with federal government, sake of the warning strike where ASU members they do now. ASU Presido, Biodun Ogunyemi, now he this one for Abuja for Tuesday, when he yan with Tory people for the end of one private peace meeting will happen for Ministry of Labor and Employment. Ogunyemi talks say for now, they don't, they don't go talk PIM until after they carry the new government proposal, go give their members to cross check them. Una few members say, as to begin the warning strike for March 9, 2020, after one disagreement with federal government on top issues, we consign revitalization of universities, meaning to bring back all those things we go make universities for Nigeria Kajad. 
earn academic allowance, will be bukuru money within the pay lecturers, and most important part, the Integrated Payroll and Personnel Information System, IPPIS, and other issues will get to do with how to pump money inside Nigerian universities. It remains sports news. Will they come back? And for sports level, President Mamadou Buhari don't approve the shifting of 20th National Sports Festival, where suppose Shele inside Benin City will be the Edo State capital. Minister of Sports, Sunday Dari, now announced this one to State House correspondents on Tuesday after one meeting where he do with President Buhari. Now, so he can't explain, say, the shift in the sake of coronavirus would not show itself anyhow with reckless abandon. Minister for Sports had said they agreed to shift the game after many discussions within do with Federal Ministry of Health. Based on daily review, based on developments, we got assurances that we could go ahead. But because we're dealing with a dynamic situation, this morning we had a meeting at the Ministry of Health in the office of the Minister of Health with the Minister of State Health present, myself, the permanent secretary and, uh, and, the, and the DG NCDC. Shortly after the meeting, which lasted about 45 minutes, we proceeded to uh, the presidency to brief Mr. President. After briefing Mr. President, Mr. President took the decision and gave the directive that the National Sports Festival, Christine Edo 2020, should be postponed as a precautionary uh, move against the spread of COVID-19. The team be saying now more than 11,000 sports people now then done ready to show face for the festival with the nickname Edo 2020. My people now did to read that, but before I go, make a summer owner with the headline news again. Senate don't tell federal government say make them ban travel for countries will get serious case of COVID-19, aka coronavirus. Federal government don't ban go government officials say make them no travel to Yibo land sake of corona problem. ASU and federal government don't reach cardiac proposal on top strike where they go on now. And we tell them say they don't close down NYSC camps across Nigeria because of fear we consign coronavirus. My people are the size of our package with that, and thank you, say, you watch. See you for 2 o'clock. My name is Nana Douglas. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.